Okay. Welcome and thank you for joining me today for cardio combat. So as usual, we're gonna do some combos and moves that are very specific to martial arts. So it's this is a class that it's inspired in martial arts. So we have different moves for today from different types of martial arts. We're gonna do one block of combos where we do one minute of work, then a 30 second spike where we get our heart rate up. And then we do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna do this three times. And then we move into conditioning. Conditioning is more of like strength kind of stuff. Um, things to work um, a few specific muscles that will help for the rest of the workout. And then we go back to our combos, making it a little bit harder. So make sure you're ready. Make sure you have room and space and you're not kicking or punching anything around that may fall. And have your water bottle ready nearby. And if you have a yoga mat or a space to work out on, um, have it handy. We're, we're going to need it mostly for block two, not for the beginning. And I'll let you know when we'll bring it. You can also do it from the floor if you want to. So it's up to you. Other than that, we're going to get started with our warm up. So let's get ready. If you want to have music, of course, in your background, go ahead. Just make sure you can hear my voice so you hear the instructions that we're going to do. So we're going to get started with our warm up. I'm just going to start here my timer. And um, just follow along, do it at your own pace and try to ch challenge your body. Let's go. So for the first move, we're gonna warm up by twisting side to side. So torso rotations. We're gonna try to lift our heels every time we rotate. This is something that is gonna help us later on with our punches. Once you've done a few, let's start reaching out. So we go a little bit further. You wanna rotate the entire body while keeping just the toes on the floor. Last few seconds here, and we're gonna start with some punches. And let's switch. Now, left foot forward, guard up. This is our fighter stance. Let's start with jab cross. So jab cross are our basic punches. As usual, you want your big knuckles pointing, let's say up, and the palm of your hand to be pointed towards the floor. Jab cross. Jab comes from the front leg cross from the back. We have a few more seconds here. We're gonna switch and do the same thing from the other side. Keep going. A few more and switch. Now right foot forward, same thing. Now our jab is our right and our cross is our left. So again, jab always comes from the front and cross from the back. Now I want you to make sure that when you throw that cross, that you're lifting the back heel. With the front row, we don't have to do much, but with the back punch, we wanna reach forward. So make sure you just lift that heel every time you throw a punch and add some intensity to it as you go. All right, switch it back, left foot forward, and let's go for hooks. Now hooks for me, the palm faces me. So we're going sideways. Imagine you're punching someone on the cheekbone. And for this one, you wanna lift the heel on both punches. Ideally, the strength from this punch comes from the rotation of your body. So we're not just swinging the arms, we're swinging the entire body, okay? So we're going hooks side to side. Good job, keep that going. And switch now with the right foot in front, same thing. Left hook and right hook, um, just as you go. And you wanna lift, punch, reset. Always thinking that we wanna have one hand by your face all the time to protect your pretty face. A few more, and we're gonna go into uppercuts in three, two, one, and switch uppercuts. Now we're gonna drop our hand forward and upwards to head above the chin. So down and up. And again, you wanna lift that heel to use the power from your hip on that punch. We don't wanna just use arms because our arms are not as strong as our entire body is, okay? A few more seconds here on our uppercuts. One hand by your face, one hand is punching. And ideally, you're just aiming in front of you and resetting. We don't wanna go low and we don't wanna go too far up. Just in front and up. And switch, other side, same thing. Uppercuts, usually uppercuts are really strong punches that go right here. So it can really pretty much just confuse your opponent with that punch because they cannot see you if they're up there. 10 more seconds. And remember, we talked a lot about fighting here, but it's not really that we want to talk about it. Like you learn, so you get into a fight. It's more of like 
for our own conditioning because boxers and fighters are really good athletes. All right, switch it back. Now we're going to squat. Nice and easy to start warming up our legs. You want to sit back like you're sitting on a little chair and come back up. If you're up here, we cannot go as low. So bring those hips back and come back up. Squeeze the bum when you come to the top. A few more seconds here. We're going to open to the side and switch. We're going side to side. You can open nice and wide and stay there. You want to feel a little bit of a stretch on the inner thigh. We're also warming up the back right here. A few more. Try to go a little bit deeper as you continue. So we get more of a stretch and more of a workout. And remember, we're trying to warm up all the muscles that we're going to be using in just a few seconds. Last few, we're going to open our hips. Ready? And open, reset, and then the other leg. So you want to draw a circle with your knee and then bring it back. This is going to open our hips. It's okay if your hips are like clunky. Maybe they're making noise. That's fine. That may just mean that we need to move them more but it's totally okay as long as it doesn't hurt. Last few here, we're gonna do a few knees and we get to work. So for knees, we have the left foot forward as usual. We grab our opponent, bring the knee up, switch, knee. Looks like this from the side, knee and switch, knee and switch, knee. So ideally you bring your opponent towards your knee, imagine a watermelon, that is just crushing when you hit it with your knee. Last few, three, two, one, and time. That was our warm up. So I hope you're feeling nice and warm. You can grab some water and before we get into our workout. Okay, so for our workout, as I said, we're gonna work for one minute and then we have a spike for 30 seconds. This is usually a move that's a little bit harder faster and it's just gonna get our cardio going so i'll let you know when we're switching just pay attention to my cues i'm gonna show you the moves the combo and then you're gonna go at your own pace okay so you can go as fast as and as hard as you will like and as long as you're challenging your body that's all i want okay make sure you can continue you can keep going for a full minute so we're gonna start with the first combo for our first one we have front block back block jab, cross. So our block is as simple as just extending the hand forward and opening it. So you're open to catch anything that comes at you and you're stopping your opponent, okay? So block, block, jab, cross. Block, block, jab, cross. So it's pretty much hand open, hand open, punch and punch, reset. We're gonna start with the left foot forward and go. Hands up, block, block jab cross left right left right okay and remember we're bringing that heel up with every everything that comes from the back okay block block jab cross block block jab cross now this box can go as fast or as slow as you need and then the punches i do want them to go fast okay so block block jab cross block block jab cross because the punches have to be surprising, have to be really energetic. So you hit your opponent and they're not, you know, seeing it coming, okay? Last few seconds here, block, block, punch, punch. You have about 15 seconds. So keep going at your own pace, add speed and add power to those punches, okay? After this, we're gonna have a double roll decoy, okay? So it looks like this, roll, roll, decoy, and switch. Roll back, roll forward, decoy. Roll, roll, decoy, okay? We're just trying to, again, confuse our opponent. So roll back, roll forward, switch, switch, yeah? This is pretty much to make them think that we're gonna do something that we're not really doing, and we're ducking some hits at the same time. So roll, roll, decoy. Roll, roll, switch, switch. Roll, roll, switch, switch and switch back. All right, let's do the other side. Now the right foot is in front, left one, left one behind. Same thing, block, block, jab, cross. Now we're starting with the right. Block, block, 
jab and cross from the side, block, block, jab and cross. So again, same thing as we just did. You just wanna go at your own pace and build up, okay? If it feels like too easy and you're not a little bit out of breath, then you can up that intensity a little bit. How do you do that? Jab, sorry, block, block, jab, cross, block, block, jab, cross. And try to use that core, keeping it tight because we're moving so quick that if we're relaxed here, we're just pretty much wiggling around. So 10 more seconds, keep that body tight, block, block, jab, cross. And then we're gonna go back to roll back, roll forward, decoy. In three, two, one, spike, let's go. Roll back, forward, decoy. Back, forward, switch, switch. And back, forward, switch, switch. Try to keep those hands in front of you the whole time because you're a fighter and you have to be ready, okay? Roll back, roll forward, switch, switch. Keep going, you have about 10 seconds to go. Don't stop, you wanna get that spike, you wanna get that heart rate up. And you, need, you have a break after this, okay? Three, two, one, time. All right, grab water if you need it. That was round one. Okay, for round one, we're gonna start introducing legs to our combos. We're gonna do a rear leg check, cross hook. So it looks like this. We're gonna start with the left foot forward, rear leg check. It's also a defensive move. We're protecting ourselves, making a wall so nothing gets through. So real leg check, cross, hook. Let's go. So leg check, cross, hook. And again, keep that core tight so you can pivot nice and easy. So real leg check, bring that foot back, cross and hook. From this side, looks like this. Rear, cross, hook. So as you see, I'm keeping this on the side and bringing it back to place. Cross straight forward, hook on the left. So leg check on the right, cross on the right, hook on the left. Once you've got the three moves, you can start speeding it up. Leg check, okay. Now the more you use your breath as well to exhale when you punch, more power you're gonna add to that punch. So keep going, we have 10 more seconds here and then we go into our spike. And our spike for this one, it's gonna be a Jenga snap kick. So we're gonna lunge, kick, lunge, switch, kick and switch, kick and switch, kick, okay? So we go from here to a kick and then all the leg, kick, switch, kick, switch, kick. This is just a very nice and easy kick because we just want the cardio for now, okay? Switch, kick, and switch, kick. Time, so the other side. Now, right foot is in front. The left leg is gonna do the leg check. Bring it back, cross, hook. Okay, let's go. Leg check, cross, hook. Leg check, cross, and hook. Again, try to speed it up as you go. And if you have trouble remembering the combo, you can repeat it out loud, kind of like what I'm doing. So you get the order as well, okay? Leg check, cross hook, leg check, cross hook. Now, I want you to stop that punch. So we're not going, you know, smooth and coming back. We're going hit, stop, imagine there's a wall, reset, okay? So leg check, Cross, hook, cross, hook. Nice and strong, guys. Five more seconds and we're gonna go back to that Jenga kick, okay? Ready, set, and go. From a lunge, kick, lunge, switch. Lunge, kick, lunge, switch. Lunge, kick, lunge, switch. From the side, looks like this. Kick, and switch, and kick, and switch, and kick. Good job, 10 more seconds here. You can make it more intense by going lower and leaning back with that kick as well. Three, two, one, time. Nice job. We have one more round to go here. Whew, it's doing good. Okay, for this one, we have also a little bit of defensive moves. We're gonna do 
jab, slip forward, roll back, cross. So imagine you punch, you duck a punch, you reset back and come with all your power, okay? Ready? Let's go. Hands up, jab, slip, roll back, cross, jab, slip, roll back, cross. Now with a little bit more power, jab, slip, roll, cross, jab, slip, roll, cross. So imagine you hit, you hide, roll back, boom, okay? All right, good job, guys. We're halfway on this combo. Jab, roll, sorry. Jab, slip, roll back, cross. So a slip, it's quick. It's a bit to the side. Meanwhile, the roll, it's a big move, okay? That's the main difference. Jab, slip, roll back, cross. Jab, slip, roll, cross. Good job, we have 10 more seconds here. Let's go. And we're gonna go into mountain climbers in just five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go mountain climbers. So you can go at any surface you have. If you have a step or if you can do it on the floor, go for it, just mountain climbers, okay? Nice and simple. I know they're hard, but you can do this. You have 15 more seconds to keep going on those mountain climbers. If they're a little bit too hard, slow it down, but keep moving. Only five, three, two, one. And let's do the other side. Good job, guys. Let's go. So now we have the right foot in front, and we're going to do jab, slip to the right, roll back, cross. Okay? One more time. Jab, slip, roll cross, let's go, jab, slip, roll, cross, sh, 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 sh. okay, so punch, slip, roll back, and another punch from the back, that last punch should be with a lot of power, because you're taking like some impulse, some momentum there to come, and pretty much put all of your power into that punch, okay, so jab, slip, roll back, cross, Jab, slip, roll back, cross. You have less than 10 seconds. We're gonna go back to mountain climbers. This time we're gonna do wide mountain climbers. Ready, set, let's go. So this time you're gonna go with the knees out. So leg check with the knees out instead of straight forward. Out, out, out. Now when we work those obliques, let's go. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can use a chair, make sure that chair doesn't move a couch or any surface you have at home, even the wall can work. As long as you're moving, that's all I care about. Of course, on the floor, it's a little bit harder. So try it out. Three, two, one, and time. All right, nice work, guys. That's block one. So grab some water and breathe a little bit. You have here a bit of a longer break. Um, and we're gonna get into conditioning. Okay, so conditioning for today. Like I said before, we're gonna do one move that is a little bit slower, and then one move that may be more challenging or a little bit faster, so similar that we did the combos right now, but it's just not gonna be combos, it's gonna be more conditioning, okay? So I'll show you the first move, and then I'll let you know when we transition to the next one. So we're gonna do some kicks here, and I'm really excited. Um, we don't do these often because we may not have a lot of space with the combos to do them, but on their own, they're pretty easy to do, okay? So let's get started. Our first exercise for this is gonna be a side lunge with a side kick. So it looks like this. If you have space, say this way, you can also, of course, do it that way. Just make sure you see it first. So we go side lunge, same as usual, step, Side kick, okay? So for the side kick, what we want is to bring the knee in and then kick with our heel. So you can start by kicking diagonally and then the more flexibility you have, you can go, of course, a little bit higher, okay? So side lunge and side kick, let's go. Side lunge, 
psychic. If you don't have much space, you can do side lunge in psychic. Side lunge in psychic. It's just not as fun, okay? So step out for the lunge in psychic if you have the space, okay? Now, again, take your time, keep your hands up as a fighter and your core tight because you don't want to lose balance and fall all over the place. We are halfway here. And then after this, we're going to go to the floor, okay? A few more seconds. Side lunge, center, side kick, okay? Lunge, center, knee up, kick with your heel. Imagine you're kicking something, okay? You're pushing a door down or whatever, okay? And let's transition to the floor and now. <laughs> let's go down to the floor. Now we're gonna go elbows on the floor and we're gonna go double leg drop. So we come in, up, and drop. In, up, and drop. You can also do this laying down and drop or use your hands as support under your hip. We're trying to work those lower abs, building some strength there. It's a little bit hard talking and doing it at the same time, but keep going. And three, two, one, bring it back up. Let's do the other leg. All righty. So same thing here. We start now with the lunge to the other side and side kick, okay? Lunge and side kick. As you go, as you're warmed up, as you know the moves, you want to start going deeper on the lunge and then higher on the kick. We're working that outside portion of your glute, which is extremely important for stabilizing your body. So again, side lunge and kick. For the kick, make sure that you are prepping and then throwing. We don't want to just do this, right? Because that's not going to have power. You want to prep, explode. All right, five more seconds and we go back to the floor. Three, two, one. Let's go back down to the floor. Double leg drop. So you're back here, up and down. If that's a little bit too hard, down on the floor, hands under the hips and double leg drop. So in, up, drop, in, up, drop. Last few, you got this, work those abs. Five seconds, three, two, one, time. And that was round one. So we're gonna continue two more rounds of conditioning. Again, grab some water if you need it. Okay, for this next one, we have the roundhouse kick. So. For the one we just did, it's a side kick because we go up towards the side with our heel. For roundhouse, usually if I'm kicking the front, it looks like this, boom, okay? I'm kicking someone on the side and I'm going all around and kicking. So this time what we're doing is just a practice. We're gonna go low, middle, higher, reset, that's it. Low, medium, higher. Working again, that outer side of the leg. You wanna balance on one leg and point the toes on the kicking leg. So one, two, three, balance it. One, two, three. So this is a little bit of balance, working your left foot and calf, your ankle. And then on the right side is your glute, mostly doing the work, okay? You have about 15 seconds. We're gonna continue just with that leg. One, two, three. And then we're gonna do the other one, okay? A few more. We're gonna go back down to the floor. In three, two, one, down to the floor. This time for a hip bridges. So we're on the floor, hip bridge and down. Now I want you to reach over your head. Imagine something that your phone is above your head on the floor and you're reaching it. Okay, so we're lifting our hips, but also reaching above our head, down and up, reach and down. All right, a few more seconds here. Three, two, one, coming up. All right, so the other leg. So now same thing, 
You want to have a slight bend on this leg so it's nice and stable. There we go. One, two, three. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's not as high, maybe as what I'm doing. What I will care about in this one is that there's three different heights or levels. Okay. It can be really low, a couple inches, and a couple more inches. And that's fine. Okay. As you get better, you're going to be able to go quite higher, but it takes a lot of practice. So take your time and work on that stability as well as your flexibility, if that's the goal of yours, to get the leg that high. We have about 10 more seconds here. One, two, three. Let's get a couple more. And I lost my balance. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And drop it down to the floor. Hip bridges one more time with a reach over. So bridge and reach. So imagine when you're reaching that you're going, say, to the opposite side that way. Okay. So I'm reaching and bring my hips up and reach down, up and reach. Last few. Almost there. Three. Two, one, and time. All right, guys, we have one more round here. Stay on the floor if you haven't got enough. And we're gonna do some sit-ups, okay? These sit-ups are very specific because they are more like combat style. So you're gonna go down as a regular sit-up, but when you come up, you're gonna do a side elbow. Okay, imagine you're hitting something with the elbow sideways. So I'm going down, up, elbow down up elbow let's go so take your time we're not rushing on this one we're going all the way down and hit all the way down and hit okay if you have something to hold on your feet that's great in this case it helps so i can talk at the same time you want to go down up hit or strike okay that hit is gonna add a rotation to your core. So you're not only working, say, the straight portion of the abs, but also working the side. So you have plenty of time, take your time for those sit-ups with side elbow. Relax, up, hit, and try to do it all in one go. So you come up and hit at the same time. Down, up, and hit, okay? 10 seconds, and we're going into our spike. Our spike is going to be push-ups. We're going to do split push-ups. Ready? Three, bring it down or switch it over. Two, one. Okay. From here, split push-up. We are going to open, push-up, close, open, push-up, close, open, push-up, close. Okay. So let's say from here, I open, push-up, close, open, push-up, close. Okay. We're working different angles here of our shoulders and our chest. So here, open, push up, close. Here, open, push up and close. All right, switch it back. Let's go back to those sit-ups. So again, we're on our sit-ups, all the way back, up and hit, and down. Okay, imagine that that's your entire goal from here, your goal is to throw that elbow. So we cannot do it here because our opponent is at the foot. You wanna come up and strike above your knees. So down and up. If that's a little bit too hard, just keep it here, hit a little back and hit. You can use a pillow on your bum or anything that will make it more comfortable for you. So down, hit, down and hit, okay? Last few there, you got this. Three, two, one, and back to our push-ups. Again, you can also do these on a table. So just make sure you open, down, up, switch, down, and up, okay? So from here, we walk, push up, walk back, walk, push up, walk back. So it's just a little step, push up, reset, step, push up, reset. Five seconds, almost there. Give me two more. Last one, time. All right, and that was our conditioning. 
Now we have one more bluff. And this one is, again, our combos. So now for the combos up next, we're gonna add one more move. So the same that you just did, but we're making a little bit more fun, okay? So grab some water, make sure you're ready. I'm just having everything ready here and we're gonna go into it. By the way, if you're watching this live, it's just really good. I just got the news that the men's volleyball team won bronze medal in provincials. So that's awesome. Okay, let's get back into our combos. So let's get ready to go. First combo, you may remember it. We start with the left foot forward, block, block, jab, cross. From here, we're gonna add a knee, okay? So block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee, okay? That's it. That's all we're doing for that one. And our spike is gonna be again, roll, roll, decoy. Yeah? All right, we got this. Get ready, one more time. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, and a knee. Let's go. All right, hit it. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee. Yeah? Try to get to that speed. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee. You got this. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee. Bring that knee as high as you can and try to lean back if you can as well. That's gonna add more tension to those abs. We are about halfway on this combo. Keep your left foot forward the entire time. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee, reset. So that back foot hits and goes back to its place. We have about 15 more seconds, so keep that going. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, and the knee. And we're gonna go into a double roll decoy in just five. So keep going. Block, block, jab, cross, and the knee. And switch, let's go. Roll, roll, decoy. Roll, roll, decoy. Ideally, you're not even jumping. You're like dragging your feet, okay? It sounds better in this floor, okay? So roll, roll, decoy. If that's a little bit too hard, Roll, roll, decoy, okay? It's a little bit of a twist. Roll, roll, decoy. Roll, roll, decoy. And switch, this is the other side. Right foot in front. So now let's go here. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee. So now we're starting with the right hand. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee. All right, let's go. You have about 40 seconds here. So let's just give it all out. Try to push your pace. Block, block, jab, cross, knee. Block, block, jab, cross, grab, knee. All righty, keep pushing. Again, those jab, cross, making it really strong. Just hit and reset quickly. So you work those muscles with a lot of power, okay? We have about 10 seconds, we go for double roll decoy for the last time. Block, block, jab, cross, and ping. Three, two, one, and switch. Roll, roll, decoy. Roll, roll, decoy. Again, if you can, do the full decoy. This is pretty much like that kind of like scaring someone. Or just switch the leg from the back to the front and back again. 10 seconds, roll, ah, roll, decoy, roll, roll, decoy. You have five, almost there, don't stop. Three, two, one, and time. Grab a little water. Nice work. Now we're getting into round two. This was the rear electric cross hook. So, left foot forward, and it seems like I'm tearing my floor apart. We have rear leg check, cross, hook, and we're gonna add a pivoting elbow, okay? So similar to what we did on the setup, the difference that we're bringing our back foot and pivoting. Okay, let's go. Rear leg check, cross, hook, 
pivoting elbow. All right, let's go. Go at your own pace. Try your best. Let's go. Real leg check. Cross, hook, and pivot. Yeah? Real leg check. Cross, hook, pivot. Keep going. Real leg check. Cross, hook, pivot. So we start with the right hand. Right, left, right. So right, right, left, right. Okay? Right leg check. Cross, hook, pivot. Okay, for that last one. So this will be a hook. You wanna flip the hand and boom. Imagine you're hitting something with this area of your elbow. You have five seconds. We're going to our Jenga, sorry, Jenga snap kick and switch, let's go. So Jenga is a lunge. Lunge, kick, and switch. Lunge, kick, and switch. Kick, switch. Kick, yeah? Use those abs, keep it nice and tight. And kick and switch. The lower you keep it, the harder it is. Let's go. Last few. You have about five seconds, keep moving. I don't care if it feels off, as long as you're moving, okay? And time. Let's do the other side. Now we have the right foot in front. We have the left leg and arm doing the left uh, leg check. Cross, hook, pivot, okay? Back leg check or left leg check. Cross, hook, pivot. So the pivot is pretty much, you keep this foot there and go around it. Of course, you wanna move with it. You don't wanna leave, you know, crooked feet. So leg check, cross, hook, and back. Leg check, cross hook, and side elbow. 15 seconds, come on, you got this. Leg check, cross hook, elbow. Again, think about hitting with this. Your hand can go to your chest because it's the elbow that's moving. Three, two, one, and switch. Let's go to the lunge, kick, and switch. Kick, back, switch and kick back switch and kick back switch and keep going you have about 10 seconds and i want you to speed it up and keep it low okay i cannot see you at home but i want you to try your best to stay as low as possible as low as possible and time all righty one more to go you're doing great don't stop now you're doing great this far, and you're strong, so you can finish it. For our last, last one, jab, slip, roll back, cross. So jab, slip, roll back, cross. And we're gonna try this. You're gonna step, psychic, because we practice it, okay? Let's go. So jab with the left, slip to the front, roll back, cross. Now the back foot is gonna step and look at my step, okay, nice and wide. Boom, psych it, okay? Let's do it all together, do it with me. So we have the left foot forward, jab, slip forward, roll back, cross, step and kick. For the kick, imagine you're showing me the bottom of your foot, okay? Let's go again, left foot forward, Hands up, jab, slip, roll, cross, step, kick. Yeah? All right, let's do it a few more times. Jab, slip, roll, cross, step, kick. One more. Jab, slip, roll, cross, step, kick. And mountain climbers, let's go mountain climbers. You can choose, I'll leave it to you, either regular, or electric mountain climbers. Let's go. We're alternating however you want. Yeah, 15 more seconds of those mountain climbers. This is what's getting your cardio up. This is what's improving that endurance. So don't stop. Last few seconds. Five, three, two, one. Time, let's do the other side. I know this one may be complicated. So if you don't wanna do the kick, leave it out and stay with the same combo. 
So right foot in front, jab, slip forward, roll back, cross, back foot steps, and kick, okay? Once again, we have the right foot in front, jab with the right, slip to the right, roll left and back, punch left, step wide, kick. So as you see, I'm stepping pretty much sideways because I'm going sideways for that kick. It's the side that you can see from me, okay? Last few seconds, come on. Jab, slip, roll, cross, step, kick. Jab, slip, roll, cross, step, kick. Jab, slip, roll, cross, and kick. And switch, mount the climbers last time, let's go. As many as you can do, as fast as you can go. If it's too much, if you're too tired, slow it down like I'm doing right now, okay? For me, it's a lot of talking, so I'm getting tired. I'm slowing it down, but I'm not stopping, okay? Keep moving, that's all that matters. And this is working your abs and your cardio at the same time. So five, we got it. Three, two, one, and time. Again, if I was there, I will give you a high five. So give yourself a high five, a nice pat on the back. You did it, you are almost done. And the last little bit is not hard. We're gonna stretch it out for the last few minutes to make sure that we settle our heart rate, we cool down and we prep our muscles for recovery. So let me get my timer for our stretches and we're gonna go. Okay. Breathe, grab water if you need it and join me as soon as you're ready. All right, for the first little stretch, we're gonna have our quad stretch. So bring the foot behind you, try to keep your knees together nice and tight and feel that stretch in your quad. If you don't feel much, try to push the hips forward and really pull the foot in as well here in the back. So the more, the longer you get that muscle, the better. Last few seconds here. All right, so that same foot we had up here, you're bringing it down, heel to the floor, push the hips back and reach. We're now stretching the back of the leg, mostly the hamstring. So if you cannot reach, that's okay. Just aim for it and feel that stretch and make sure that we're not dead on the top we're just keeping everything engaged, okay? A nice neutral back. A few more seconds. All right, that same foot now is gonna go all the way back. We're going to a lunge. And I want you to bring this knee over and down. So you're tucking your bum. Imagine you're bringing your tailbone down in through your legs and stretching this area here, which is your hip. Make sure you feel it. If you don't spoil it because that pelvis is not tilted. So go as deep as you can. Nice stretch there. All right, now heel down on the floor. Okay, you're gonna feel that on your calf and stretch the shoulder. So you just wanna bring that across. And make sure you're not pressing on the elbow. You wanna go higher or lower than the elbow and keep leaning forward. Last few seconds here. Keep breathing, don't stop that. And let's do the other side, same thing. So now we have, in my case, the left foot. I hope you're doing the same one as me. If not, that's okay, just flip it. So bringing those knees together, trying to push the hips forward. For some people, it helps to have a fist here. Some people touch their belly button or up. Just focus on one spot and you're gonna keep that balance. A few more seconds here. We go back to our hamstring stretch. All right, let's go. So heel down on the floor, push the hips back. Your hands can go on the leg that is bent or just reaching towards your toes. Again, try to keep that back neutral. We don't wanna sink in like this. There's no point reaching that way. It's more about the leg. It's not really about us reaching to your toes, okay? Last few here. 
All right, bring that leg back all the way, down into a lunge. And remember here, we're tucking our pelvis in, our uh, knee wants to go down to the floor, and we're pushing a little bit forward and down to stretch our hip flexor. For our students, this is something that needs a lot of work because we sit for long hours. So make sure you stretch your hips every once in a while um, just to keep those healthy, okay? All right, heel down to stretch our calf and shoulder across. Make sure you feel it on the calf. Sometimes we forget to get up and it's not really stretching. So this is a double stretch. Make sure you focus on both. And breathe, almost there. And after this, you can go have dinner, maybe have a protein shake or a snack, and for sure some water. All right, let's finish up with a breath. So one big breath, we're going all the way up and holding it at the top. And let's go up, up, up. Hold it at the top. Stretch and reach for the sky and release. Oh, all right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next week and invite your friends so we can make it a group activity with your friends. Have a nice day, guys. Thanks, Linda. Bye bye. My pleasure. Have a good weekend. All right, we are done. So if you need to stretch anything else, you can go ahead. If you felt anything was tight, go for it. See you next time.